Hey everyone, welcome back. Hertz and BP are teaming up to create a network of EV chargers in the US. This is amazing news. So the thing that got my eye was the Pulse Stars. One in black, two in white, caught my eye almost immediately. And most of you on this channel will know that Pulse Star is a close working partner with Hertz. In fact, right now I do believe that Hertz are offering Pulse Star vehicles up for rental in Australia. But this is a slightly different news. So Hertz and BP are creating a charger network in the United States. Hertz needs more chargers for its growing fleets of battery power car rentals. Hertz and BP are joining force to build a network of electric vehicle chargers throughout the US. The initiative should help support Hertz growing fleet of EVs as the rental car company recently announced plans to purchase a total of over 300,000 EVs from Tesla, Polestar and GM. This is fantastic news for Polestar once again. Now details about the projects are still pretty slim and two companies haven't indicated how many charging stations they planned on billing, how long it could take or how much money either side is committing to the projects. But we do know that Hertz is working with BP Pulse, the old giant EV branch, to build out a network of fast charging hubs with the goal of servicing both Hertz customers and everyday EV drivers. Now according to a report from CNBC, the deal builds an initiative that involves BP installing charges at 25 of Hertz's busiest airport locations. And Hertz also been building some EV chargers separately, already installing them at 500 locations across the US, with CNBC stating that the company plans to have roughly around 3,000 charges by the end of next year. A report from CNN indicates that Hertz may apply for $7.5 million in federal funding specifically to help build out its charging network. This aligns with BP's similar goal of establishing charging networks with companies aiming for 100,000 charges globally by 2023. That's quite intense. That is quite intense. Now the availability of EV charging stations have been a long concern, with some drivers hesitant to purchase the let alone rent an electric vehicle because of their inaccessibilities. Now the current placement of EV charges in the US isn't equitable nor convenient for many low income communities and neighborhoods of colors. Meanwhile some EV owners have been contended with broken or inoperable charges. Now all of this could be changed soon, although part of the infrastructure bill passed last year, President Biden approved $900 million in funding for 35 states to build EV charging stations. Biden hopes to build 500,000 charges in the US by 2030, a steep climb from 41,000 charges available in the country currently. And of course, let's remember that Rivian is also building their own fleets for their own vehicles and customers. So there are various companies working on the EV charging problem. And these companies are taking different approach to solving this problem and to improving the accessibility to their own customers. Do keep in mind as well that BP has made this very public. They've posted this on their News and Insight website. It says Hertz BP Collaborative to accelerate EV charging in North America. Hertz and BP Pulse plan to install a national network of EV charging solution for Hertz and its customers powered by BP Pulse. Companies to build upon and customize BP Pulse existing Omega fleet charging and energy management softwares for Hertz EV fleets. So I think it's fair to say that this isn't just a plan for the future. It is a partnership. It is a collaboration that is on the way. I think this is quite fantastic for the Hertz company. The share price is currently $16.49 at the time of recording and currently it's the 11th of October. Now unfortunately it is not all positive for Hertz. There's more than 60 people who have accused Hertz of having them wrongfully arrested that has won the right to join a lawsuit against the company dealing another blow to the efforts. Needless to say that this is not a positive thing for Hertz especially at this time when they're going to so many wonderful expansion plans for their business. But if you'd like me to speak more on that information on the case against Hertz, then leave a comment and let me know and I can probably consider making an additional video on the entire subject. But that is it for this video. Subscribe to see more, leave a like, leave a comment and of course I'll see you in our next video.